There's just something about being in the water and being that close to nature that turns something on inside of you. For me to just think about it and have the hair just standing up and getting the chills, it's, it's an incredible deal. When Jack came out with the first wetsuit, he wasn't thinking about money, he was thinking about warmth. Rather than just being out there and suffering and enjoying surfing as it was for that 20 minutes, he went beyond everybody else's thinking and was like, what can I do that's gonna be able to allow me to surf longer than all these other people that I'm seeing out here and enjoy these waves? It was in San Francisco at the time and it gets quite cold there. And when it drops down below uh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, you slow, but uh, we just worked on something to make it last longer. I would say he, the ocean inspired him. I don't think he was out there skinning an elephant seal and, and putting it on, um, but I do believe that he was looking at him going, how are they spending all this time? You know, what is their um, complex structure that allows them to be in these freezing waters 24-7? One of his first designs was a, it was like a vest. He had figured out that the primary part of your body that lets out a good portion of the heat is, is this core. To actually have the knowledge to, to keep your chest and your back and your head warm was, I think, a, a key part of all future developments that he came up with because he had it in the right places. The whole business aspect of it, I think it expanded and was much larger than what his vision was. And I think it was even greater in all the other people who were watching him come up with this idea. I think some people were, I really think were like, He's not gonna make a, a business out of this. I never, I never dreamed that things would <laughs> expand like this. If it wasn't for Jack, you really wouldn't be opening up those doors and knocking down those barriers in the first place. If you know, if Jack had never invented the wetsuit, three quarters of the people that surf on the planet wouldn't be in the water.